Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. This video is about how to control your tongue and thoughts. How to control your tongue and thoughts. With man, this thing is impossible. But with God, anything is possible, my friends. Even controlling your tongue and your thoughts. Remember, Apostle Paul tells you to hold every thought captive under Christ Jesus and submit it to Christ. Hold every thought captive. That means whenever a thought comes in your mind, these thoughts are not always your thoughts. Remember that. Sometimes a thought come into your mind and it's wicked and evil and lustful and you're just like, huh, where did that thought come from? I did not watch any movies. Like, where did that thought come from? It's from the devil. Did you know the devil tries to throw thoughts at you? You must block them. You must be like, no, 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 no. You got to learn to say no. Say no to the devil and say yes to Christ. I remember my pastor told me this parable. <laughs> I never forgot it. It's such a good parable. So he says, imagine you're going to Walmart. Okay, and you're all like with your shopping cart, right? You walk through the door, you get your shopping cart, and you go shopping at Walmart. And then you start having this list of things you want in your cart. You're like, okay, I'm going to put some bread in, yeah, some eggs. Yes, I need some of this. Yes, some healthy food. This for the dog, yeah. You're all shopping and off your cart. And then somebody comes, and they start putting their stuff in your cart. Sometimes by accident. And you're like, oh man, I'm so sorry. But this is my card. And they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> I totally thought it was my card. Yeah, sometimes by accident. Those are like windblown thoughts. Or somebody comes, maybe you're at a mall and you know those salespeople, they're like, you need to buy this brand new blow dryer. <laughs> Here you go. And you're like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I'm walking away right now. <laughs> yeah. The devil is kind of like that, okay? You are you have your shopping cart. You got a control. For, you got control over your shopping cart. You're holding the handlebars. It's your cart, okay? And you know what you want in that cart. Don't let the devil come and be like, Hey, you need this in your cart. Let, let me put it in. Oh, I'm putting it in. Yeah. Let me put this in. Yeah. Oh, they're not stopping me yet. Oh, even more. Yeah, you need to put this in. See? But if you're like, you stand up, and you stand your ground, and you're like, no, this is my cart. Take these things away. And you tell the devil, no, this is my stuff. I want, I want to choose what I could put in my cart, okay? You take the stuff away. And maybe someone might accidentally think your cart is theirs, and so they throw their stuff in accidentally. That's kind of like people's opinions. They're like, Oh, I think you should totally change your hair to be like this. Or I think you could totally study this way, blah, 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 blah. Or go this way and do that. Those are kind of like people accidentally putting it in. Or maybe you hear something on the radio and then you get that thought. Like some recommendation. And that's like someone putting stuff in your cart accidentally. And you're like, oh, I'm so sorry, man. But this is my cart. I think your cart is over there. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot the cards look the same, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll put it in my card. See, we, we got to think about it like that. That card is your mind. You choose what you put in there. You're like, that card is your mind. You're like, okay, I'm going to put the word of God in there. I'm going to put sermons in there. I'm going to put anointed teaching in there. I'm going to put Christian media in there. I'm going to put good things in there, good news. That's why the Bible says to set your minds on things above in Colossians. And also all things that are good and honorable to think about those things. Praiseworthy. Apostle Paul is saying, hey, think about the things that are good and put that in your cart. Don't let the devil put stuff in. If the devil tries, you say, no, no, this is my cart. Remember, resist the devil and he will flee from you. He's not going to try to force it. The moment you say no, he backs up because he's like, oh, this person knows they have authority. I got to back away now. So yes, guys, that is how to control your tongue and your thoughts. That was the thoughts part. 
And now we go to controlling the tongue, where it says right here. So King David, he knew the secret, okay? So in Psalms 141, verse 3, King David is saying, Set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Do you guys hear that? Let me read it again. Set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. And then King David also says in another psalm, he says, Lord, may the meditations of my heart and mind be pleasing to you. We are in Psalm 19, verse 14. It's actually Psalm 19. So it says here, King David is saying, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. And so I would pray to God, I was like, Lord, please, may the meditations of my heart and mind be pleasing to you. May you be a guard over my heart, a guard over my mouth. Yes. So I'm going to repeat it again so that you guys could just say the same things that I'm saying. Huh. So this is what I say. I would put those two psalms together, those two verses together. I'd be like, Lord, may the meditations of my mouth and my heart be pleasing to you and may you be a guard over my heart and my mouth the reason why i say for him to be a guard is so that one i won't say things that are evil i won't gossip or slander or speak a negative or speak a death the book of james says that the power of life and death is in the tongue it would be really dangerous for me, a minister, to speak words that are evil, to speak words of death. That would be dangerous because my job is to feed you guys words of life. It is Jesus who is speaking through my mouth and I'm a mouthpiece for him. So it would be really bad for me to speak words of death. When you guys are watching, you're, you're watching because you're hungry for the spirit of life. So yes, I pray for God to be a guard over my mouth. But here's the other thing. You have to go deeper. And King David, he's a man after God's own heart. He goes deep with God. And he's like, Lord, don't just be a guard over my mouth, what I say out loud. But I pray that the meditations of my heart and mind would be pleasing to you. Do you guys hear that? King David's like, Lord, I want the things that even that I don't say, the things I think about in secret, the things that my heart meditates on in secret. I want those things to be pleasing to you also, Lord, because we know Jesus says, I am the one who searches heart and mind. He is so powerful. He says, I am the one who searches heart and mind. And you could bet even right now, Jesus is searching your heart and your mind. He is searching your heart and your mind. And you guys might be like, oh, may the fear of the Lord really be in you today. <laughs> Jesus knows the deep inward thoughts of your heart and your mind the deep inward thoughts oh so yeah don't think you could hide anything from him mm -hmm. which is why just be like lord may the meditations of my heart and mind be pleasing to you so that you won't have to feel afraid but you'd feel like okay god knows everything about me he knows even my deep inward thoughts and i release it to him so yes, guys, I hope that helps you. And so yes, that is how you're able to control your tongue and your thoughts. Let me just do a recap. So first you just say, Lord, may the meditations of my heart and mind be pleasing to you. May you be a guard over my heart and my mouth. And so yes, that's how you control your thoughts and your tongue. And also to set your mind on things. Set your mind. Take captive your thoughts. Don't let the devil try to plant his thoughts in your mind. No way. Take captive of your thoughts. A thought comes in, you hold it captive. 
Oh, this is not of God. I reject you, devil. A thought. Mm. Oh, this is of Jesus. Yeah, put it up front. You know, in the Old Testament, they would have to wear, like if you see the Orthodox, Jewish Orthodox, they kind of follow some of the Old Testament rituals where they have the word placed as the frontlet of their mind. They would wear the headband with the word of God in the front. Yes. So when you hold captive every thought that's of God, you put it out the front of your mind. Like every time you think about Jesus, you put it out the front and you're like, yes, Lord. I'm thinking about you right now. And when you hone in and focus on the thought the Holy Spirit gave you about Jesus. Wow, you s the veil tears open and you start to see his glory. And there are times when you focus so much on Jesus, it feels like your eyeballs are literally burning because you're staring at the glory of God in the face of Christ Jesus. There was a time I was stocking mouthwash, okay? I work at a drugstore, I stock mouthwash. And then the Holy Spirit gave me a thought about Jesus washing feet. And so I took that thought captive and I put it at the front of my mind and I started to really meditate on it. And then I started to see this beautiful kingly glory as I saw Jesus washing feet. And I was so mesmerized. I was like, wow, Lord, you're so beautiful. And I felt the light of God. It's like heaven tore open, the veil tore open. And, and all I was looking at was Jesus washing feet. And then the glory of God was so bright. I felt like my eyeballs were going to burn out of their sockets. And I was like, wow. <sighs> Whoever thought, you know that you'd be able to get such glory and revelation in the mouthwash aisle, in the dental aisle. <laughs> and if that could happen to me, it could happen to you. See, everything that happens to me, it could happen to you. I just tell you so you know it is possible. <laughs> like, see, my job as a minister is to stir up your appetite so that you could be like, wow, Lord, you gave that revelation to Intava. I want to see it too. See guys, what Jesus gives to me, he could give to you guys. You can have as much of God as you so desire. And that is part of your thoughts. When you desire God, God will put more of his, himself. He will reveal to you more of himself. He will give you more thoughts about him. And you can always ask the Holy Spirit to help you. If you're struggling, you're like, oh, I have so many thoughts, all the cares of the world. So many things I'm worried about. Holy Spirit, help. I want to think about Jesus so I can have peace. Because the Bible says, those who set their minds on him, he keeps in perfect peace. And so, yes, there are times when I'm like that. I'm like, Lord, oh, I need to think about Jesus right now. Because my mind is just overflowing with things of the world. All the cares of the world. Remember, Jesus says, if you're so worried about the cares of the world... It chokes the seed that's within, the seed, the word of God. It chokes it. And you feel like, <gasps> you feel like you're choking. But the moment you think about Jesus, you feel released and set free. And I want you guys to have that freedom. Let me pray for y'all. Father God, I pray for everybody watching today. Please help them control their thoughts. May they hold every thought captive in Christ Jesus. Any thought that's from the devil, I pray you'd help them reject it. And any thought that's of you, I pray you'd help them bring it to the front of their mind. That they would meditate on you and think about you and see your glory in the face of Christ Jesus. Please give them more thoughts about you. Please help them think about you and not be so worried about the cares of the world that would choke the seed that's in them. No way, but I pray for them, Lord, that they would be overflowing with peace because they chose to set their mind on you. And I pray, Lord, please be a guard over their heart and their mouth, over their mind as well. May the meditations of our heart and mind be pleasing to you, Lord, because we know you are one who searches heart and mind. 
And we pray that when you search us, that you would find love for you, and you would find glory and wonder and beauty, good things and praise. Thank you, Lord God. Please help us in this. Thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you guys. See you on the next video.